<laughs> okay, let's see. I was, uh, it was in 1950. It was, uh, I was with my parents, my mom and dad. My two older brothers were teenagers at that point and didn't want to camp with the parents. So it was just me. And we went up to the Eel River because my dad had had a sawmill up in Waitonville, near, uh, which is on the Eel, right at the corner of the Eel where it turns east. So it was the South Fork of the Eel River. And it was real early in the morning, it was about 5 30 in the morning. My dad got us up right at sun up to uh, cook up some breakfast. And I looked and I saw dead fish in the frying pan. <laughs> and at uh, age five, I didn't appreciate the idea of eating dead fish for breakfast. So I inquired about pancakes. My dad made really good pancakes. And uh, he just got a little, a little angry and said, No, you're going to have what we're having this morning, and that's fish. So, uh, he and my mom went about uh, filleting up and they were working on cooking the fish. And while they were doing that, I decided to boycott breakfast. So I left. I ran along the edge of the river uh, towards the deeper woods. Uh, I must have gone four or five hundred yards at least and I couldn't see my parents anymore. And I stopped and there was a sandbar jutting out into the river. So I went out on the sandbar and I was standing there and I looked across the river and I looked upstream and then I looked back towards the woods for a second and there was this uh, rather large hairy person standing there looking at me and so I looked up at him and we had eye contact for about a count of three then I heard my mother screaming Mikey where are you oh mom's calling well that's different I better get back there. I don't want mom to be upset. So I turned, took one last look at the big guy, and ran towards camp. And uh, not too long down the way, I ran into my parents because they were already starting out to look for me. And I said, I'm okay. Come and see the big hairy man. So they didn't know what to think, but they were kind enough to follow me. So I went running off, heading back towards the spot where I saw it. And they were uh, right behind me. And when we got there, we, uh, it wasn't there anymore. It was gone. So they said, well, that's okay. Don't worry about it. It was probably a tramp. And I said, well, what's a tramp? And they said, a tramp is a homeless person. And sometimes they stay out in the woods by themselves a little too long. Their hygiene's not the greatest. And they certainly don't shave every day. So that's probably what you saw. So that day I learned that a tramp is a person 10 feet tall, covered in hair. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> it's a great story. Oh, say about his shirt. He had a shirt on. Yeah, he had uh, a shirt on one arm. Um, I figure that he took it off a clothesline and then monkey see, monkey do, uh, tried to put it on like we do got it up partly up his arm and he couldn't go any further it was too tight and so he just left it there <laughs> so here he is with this great big hairy man with a shirt hanging off his arm <laughs> that adds something to it absolutely yeah that's great